Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I wanted to show you how to salvage or uh, collect the loot or what I usually do when I salvage and collect the loot after I've done these Haven sites. And this applies to all anomalies to do. You just pluck down an MTU, it gathers everything, puts it all into one place and you can use that to just easily, accessibly gather all the loot, just collect it straight away. And actually, what I use tend to salvage stuff is actually this ship right here. This is a Coercer and you could also use a Noctis, but uh, the Noctis is quite expensive. This is a very cheap ship. It has 10 mil it costs. It's a really good salvager right here. Salvaging and looting the modules from the sites is actually quite profitable. I did not think it was profitable. I thought it was just a bit of a waste of time, but it's actually worth your time to do that. Definitely do that. I uh, didn't really expect it, but you can actually get quite a bit of meta modules as well as, well as salvage uh, money uh, from these sites, especially the high tier ones like the Sancha Havens with lots of uh, lots of uh, battleships uh, and it applies to all havens so Gerstas Haven, Selpentis Haven, not just to Sancho ones, this applies to any pirate sites. So we're gonna actually first, what I usually will do is I will actually go in my Tyra. I've just completed a site. I'm actually just gonna look now which one was the la latest one I did because yeah this is an old one right here so I want to warp to this one right here because I had one before that I forgot to delete. <laughs> but it's always good to have your mobile tractor unit uh, bookmarks better more than less. You never want to forget that. It's annoying to have to waste that 7 mil there. I used to use the Iteron Mark V. I think you can get a bit of M3, better M3 from the Iteron Mark V, but I think the Tyra looks really good. I think in general the Kaldari industrial ships look really good. It's a very basic fit. <laughs> Just some expanded cargo holes, but 23k M3. And I've not even got maxed out uh, Kaldari industrial skills. So you see here, here's my mobile tractor unit. Has it pulled in everything? Yeah, it's pulled in everything. Great. So what I'll do is I'll just open up this. Let's see how much I got from this Sancha Haven I did. Four mil. Okay, so that was a really bad site. Usually I would get about eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, eight to 12 mil, something like that. But I've never actually got this. this is an all time low, in fact. Just funny how I showed that here. But it's all right take something there it's, it's at least something so grab in the mobile tractor unit and then i'll go back to the keep start and deploy my uh, uh, de uh deploy my put my loot there and then i'll come back in the coercer the coercer will just go crazy on the salvaging tyra it looks so much like the badger but just a lot bigger it looks pretty epic it looks like a proper transport ship like you can imagine all these uh, containers being here uh, I think the I really like the sleek design of these uh, or the like straight lines that the Kaldari industrials have that's why I really like them a lot. I used to use the Amar industrials because I'm an Amar character but I don't particularly like the use uh, the look of them so I changed it to the Kaldari ones instead. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take my salvage coercer. Coercer is like a ship that is made to just do crazy amounts of damage, but it's also a good salvage boat. In fact, almost all destroyers are pretty good salvage boats just because they've got so many high slots. Uh, the, the, you need a lot of high slots to fit a lot of salvage modules. Salvage modules don't take a lot of fitting space, but you need a lot of high slots to be able to fit them. So it's it's very useful. It, was, it works a lot. It works out very well uh, going with destroyers because of just they have having cr a, a cr like a full high slot loader. The most amount of slots you can have on any like uh, side here is eight. Like you can have max eight low slots, max eight mid slots, max eight high slots, and that's exactly what the destroyers have. Or well, not all destroyers, but Quirse is one of those few destroyers that, or a few of the destroyers that have eight high slots. It's very useful. I've got these signal amplifiers here. This makes so that I have more amount of lock, lock targets and increases the lock, uh, the speed that I lock up stuff. And that's good when you're locking up so many wrecks. You'll see here, so many wrecks I've got here to salvage from this one haven, just one haven, all these wrecks. If I had better skills, I'll be able to lock up more. You'll see here, when I lock up these, then I'll actually only be able to lock up six. It's because my skills are not that great, but uh, when I get my targeting levels uh, up, then I'll be able to lock up more and then I'll, it'll be a lot easier for me to salvage. So I've got eight salvages, but only six lock targets is not that good. So that's why it's really good to have the targeting five skill train. And that's exactly uh, why I've got uh, in like the next week in my skill queue. So we'll just keep going on them and just press their hotkeys F1 to F6 or F1 to F8. If you've got all of them, eight of them, just salvage all these. It doesn't take a too long time, but 
It's a, it's a very little quick activity here which will generate a, a bit of extra side disc. And if you're lucky, the salvage will be pretty good. It's the same in the way the loot, you know, the loot can sometimes be good, sometimes be bad. The same way the salvage can be sometimes good, salvage can be sometimes bad. And it's uh, salvage them so quickly that sometimes it's hard to keep an eye on them all the time. A lot of wrecks, a lot of wrecks. I used to do a lot of salvaging, or not uh, uh, used to. I still, when I when I will do the L formations in a in a paladin, then I will uh, salvage them. But it's not at all as fast as having eight salvages like this, like a dedicated salvage bar. And that could actually be something when doing L formations in the future that I I can use an MTU to put them all in one place, and then I'll have just something come in and just salvage everything it's so fast. Really, really. So. There's just so many damn wrecks, they never end. <laughs> Put a few more salvages on these guys. Double salvages. Salvage, salvage, salvage. It's good that being here is very safe because there's nothing they can warp through. The only people, enemies, they can only get to you if they have a combat scanner probe. That's the only way they can get to you. There's no like anomaly here that they can warp to you, so it's very useful in that regard. Or well, it's very safe in that regard. It's not at all. It's not at all as risky as doing the site. And even doing the site in my snipey rattlesnake is not at all that dangerous because it's just uh, you're always staying aligned. It's um, this is even more safer. Don't have to just sit back, salvage stuff, and then you'll watch the wallet. We're gonna wait until the end and we'll see how much it got. I'm guessing seven million. That's why I usually will get seven million, six seven million, something like that. I think once I got 9 million actually. It depends a bit on, like, I think there's a chance that they can drop good stuff from the salvage. And then also, there's like, it depends on what when the, you, you did the site, if there were a lot of battleships, because the big stuff drops better salvage, generally speaking. So, depending on, like, it's a bit variable in the site how many battleships will spawn. So, it could be that I had a site with a lot of battleships, it could be that I had one with few battleships, and then I'll get less salvage. There's a bit of an RNG factor, you know, got a bit of an RNG factor here, but not as much as in the Abyss, where just this RNG factor on top of RNG factor on top of RNG factor. Here it's kind of like one RNG factor, just that there's always two RNG factors, <laughs> because it depends on what the salvage drops and also uh, what site spawn. Otherwise, apart from that, it's not a whole lot of RNG. I need, I've not actually got salvager twos that would actually help a lot, increase the probability of them doing successful salvages and something I should do, but it's just it's training for salvager twos takes 13 days and I can't be bothered, oh, but I definitely should actually do that, that's something I should do, because once I do that I'll never have to do it again, and it will just be in general a good skill to have just to increase my salvaging efficiency. Okay, there we go, I'm just putting this, okay, so let's see how much we get, guess how much, P post in the comments how much you think I got from those wrecks. 7.5 mil, okay, nice. So, that's it, you can, you just salvage like this, and that's it, and you collect the loot from those, uh, the MTU, not much more to that, and you get a little bit of extra isk on the side. So I got 4 mil from those modules, 7 mil from the salvage, so that's 11 mil extra. So not a whole lot, uh, usually I'll get more from the modules. The salvage is on point, but the modules were a bit lacking in this case. So it's a lot, it's a very good way to complement the bounty income and the, the income uh, you get. So that's me salvaging and collecting modules from doing PvE sites, or in this case, Sancho Havens. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.